everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm coming at you with five book recommendations non-fiction edition i've read some amazing non-fiction recently so I'm just feeling really excited about non-fiction at the moment. We've got a whole range of books here to talk about. I really hope something takes your fancy. Please let me know down below how your non-fiction reading has been going recently. Let's get straight into it. First up, we have No One Round Here Reads Tolstoy by Mark Hodkinson. This is a memoir from author, publisher and journalist Mark Hodkinson detailing his passion for and relationship with reading and his working class childhood in 1980s Rochdale where his family owned only one book. I read this book a couple of years ago now and it has really stuck with me. I loved going on this journey with Mark Hodkinson, part autobiography, part social history with musings on content contemporary reading and publishing trends thrown in. It covers his childhood and family, his education, his various obsessions with books and music and TV, and his work in journalism and publishing as well. This book just feels quite full and honest. Mark Hodkinson feels authentically himself in here. This is such a fab memoir if you like books about working class experiences or just books about books. I can't recommend this more highly. Next up we have I Promise It Won't Always Hurt Like This, 18 Assurances on Grief by Claire McIntosh. A decade in the making, this book explores Claire McIntosh's own personal experiences with the death of her baby son and her father through 18 promises to the reader about grief. This is a great book about grief, whether or not you're currently experiencing a recent bereavement, or your years down the line, or you're just wanting to read about grief more generally. My dad unexpectedly passed away last summer and I found this book to be a great comfort. I read it quite slowly over many, many months, just picking it up as and when I felt like I needed it. And honestly, I feel like it could be just as helpful to me in a decade's time. In here, Claire McIntosh is tender and generous and lays everything completely bare. This book just felt right to me, allowing me to spend some time in my grief, to somewhat submerge myself in it and to acknowledge and validate my own experiences as something that other people experience too. This is a great book. I'm really glad that it came into my life at the right time and I hope it does that for other people too. Next up we have How to Think Like a Woman by Reagan Penaluna. This one details the author's experiences of sexism and the patriarchy in academia, as well as exploring the lives and works of four female philosophers who influenced Reagan Penaluna. This book is fresh and enlightening and engaging. I am a big philosophy nerd, I do have a philosophy degree. There is a clear absence of discussion surrounding female philosophers, especially historically, and there is still a clear absence of them on degree curriculums. In here we learn about Basham, Wollstonecraft, Cochrane and Astell specifically. The amount of leading philosophy that was written by these women and was then claimed by the big male names in philosophy will blow your mind. Reagan Penaluna's own story throughout her 20s and her 30s is also woven seamlessly throughout this book. Her challenges mirroring these women's challenges, how their work and lives inspired her work and her life. This is brilliantly educational and brilliantly entertaining. If you're into philosophy, read this. If you're not into philosophy but you are interested in books about women in academic spaces and just kick-ass women generally, also read this. Fourth up today is Sociopath by Patrick Gagney. This is a new memoir that just came out last month. It details Patrick Gagney's own personal experiences 
through childhood and into adulthood of living life as and being diagnosed as a sociopath. I read this recently and totally loved it. One of the best non-fiction books I have read in a long time. Sociopathy is an often misunderstood and maligned personality disorder and through getting her PhD, writing and working as a therapist, Patrick Gagney is determined to raise awareness of what it is actually like to live life as a sociopath firsthand. This is fascinating. It explores Patrick Gagney's insincerity, her absence of shame and guilt, her reduced empathic responses, and her learning over the years to understand the world as other people do. It is tender and hilarious and revealing. Patrick Gagney's voice is razor sharp throughout. Her writing and her delivery just elevates the book to a whole new level. So many people would enjoy this book. Whether or not you think you're interested in sociopathy, and if you like your non-fiction on audio like I do, this is a great audiobook read by the author herself. And finally, today we have Northerners A History by Brian Groom. Through a sweeping narrative, this is a biography of Northern England from the oldest times to modern day. If you are from the North of England, like I am, or you're interested in the North of England, or just regional areas of the country generally, you will really like this. It covers a whole range of people and events that have contributed to the shaping of Northern England, from waves of migration, to invasions and battles, to transformative changes wrought on European culture and the global economy. It looks at what Northernness is today and the crucial role that the North can play in Britain's future. I found this to be perfectly paced throughout giving you just the right amount of information to keep you interested and engaged. It's informative but also just really nice and warm. You can feel the love that Brian Groom has for the North in here and the awesomeness of the North just really comes through. This is super enjoyable, super consumable, so much interesting information contained in a lovely entertaining package, big recommend. So there we have it guys, those are five of my non-fiction recommendations for you. I really hope you enjoyed hearing about these books, I hope you want to pick one or two of them up. As I said earlier, please do let me know what you've been reading recently in terms of non-fiction, give me any recommendations that you think I'd be interested in. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. As always, I hope you're all doing well, I look forward to chatting, and I will see you really soon in another video. Bye.